In the Beamer presentation, there are situations where we might have material on a slide that we want to reveal sequentially. And this is referred to as using overlays within the LaTeX Beamer package. So going back to some of our previous presentations, we're going to take a look at creating overlays in three different ways to develop different styles of producing them. So we're going to start off with the simplest style of overlay, which is using the pause command. All the pause command does is indicate that we want to create a slide with what has appeared up to that point in the code and then the next slide will have the following information. So this is easily illustrated with a bullet list. So within our frame here we've got an itemize environment and five items and between the first and second, second and third and so on there's the command slash pause. So what this will do is allow us to have the individual lines on each slide but once a line is revealed it remains on that slide until you move on to the next slide. So if we look in our presentation and we move through we'll see that the first line appears on this slide then we move to the next slide the next line appears but we've still got the first line on that slide similarly third fourth and fifth line. So that's quite a simple way which is quite useful if we've got a bullet list or paragraphs of text that we want to reveal sequentially. So what we might want to do is something a little bit more sophisticated. So on the next slide we're going to produce a table of statistics based on different countries. So what we've got here is a tabular environment and we've got a total of eight columns. All of those columns are centered which is why we've got this list of eight C's. So then we've got our header line opposition, match, innings, etc. So this is just set up in the same way that you would set up a table in a normal LaTeX document. But then on each of the lines of the second to seventh line of the table, we've got this on slide command, which tells LaTeX Beamer that we want this particular line to appear on a particular slide. So what we have here is we've got on this line here we say we want it to appear on the second slide of this batch and then the dash says it wants to remain for the rest of the slide. So we could put something in such as 2-3 if we wanted a particular line just to appear on a couple of the slides of the overlays. So we pop onto the next table so we see first up the header appears but nothing else and then as we flick through onto subsequent slides we will end up seeing that the additional lines are added to the table. So we'll look at one more way that we can create overlays and this is a situation where we might want to do something fancy such as changing the colour of the text that appears on a particular part of the slide. So here we're again using the itemized environment and we've got four items and what we've got here is a note that this information appears on each slide for this particular example then we've got these additional slides 2, 3, 4, 5 and the awk command has two arguments. The first bit is what appears on a particular slide so in this case on the second slide and the second bit is what appears on all of the other slides in the presentation. So we're going to have in most cases the text in grey but then when we move on to a particular side, slide it will get highlighted in blue. So if we move through here we see on the first slide everything's in grey, on the second slide the first line turns into blue text, next slide third line, fourth line, fifth line and so on. 